Hello everybody, it's me, Mia Ackman, and today we will be discussing how Meeks' OVA links into the Chaos Theory. So, Meeks' OVA in Lost Girls was a big surprise for me. It opened up a whole nother timeline, and since I haven't read the Lost Girls manga, this was something I didn't know that was going to happen. So today, we will discuss this. So let's get started by the elephant in the room. Mikasa sees a blue butterfly, and this could possibly be nodding to the butterfly effect. And I know what some of you may be thinking. Let me just check the future comment section. Hmm, let's see. Ah, I found something. It's just a butterfly. I'm triggered. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> well. <laughs> Well, let me tell you why this isn't any ordinary butterfly. Well, the butterfly effect is nearly always depicted by a blue butterfly, and this ties into chaos theory. In fact, blue in nature isn't a very normal colour whatsoever. You see yellows, pinks and greens, yet not a lot of blue. So a blue butterfly is almost a marker saying, something is happening here, so pay attention. And just to make sure for those who don't know what the butterfly effect is, or in that matter for what chaos theory is, I will explain and tell you what it means. So a very brief description of the butterfly effect is where if a minor change is made, there can be many different outcomes or consequences for your actions. And these aren't just minor outcomes, they can be major as well. It's basically saying that a simple choice could change the entirety of a whole life, or if applied to Attack on Titan, the whole series, and chaos theory, it's a mathematical theory that can be used to explain these complex behaviours. It also depends on the conditions and the choices a person can make. So the butterfly effect is just a small part of the bigger picture of chaos theory. For an example, imagine a tree and all the branches it has. Now imagine if those branches were the different possibilities. These possibilities are almost endless. So yeah, that explains that. Sorry for geeking out there. <laughs> And you may think, how does this tie in with Attack on Titan? Well, my fellow friends, this links with Meeks' OBA, as actions nearly almost have consequences, and that you can't change the past. This is shown that Meeks won't be able to prevent Eren's death, yet this doesn't mean she will leave him, and this whole episode is dedicated to this, and an example of Chaos Theory and the Butterfly Effect. Later on in the episode, we come to learn that the whole survey corps were disbanded because the result in so many deaths, and basically had a lack of results in learning anything about the Titans or the outside world. The two major changes in Mikasa's timeline is that one, Mikasa's parents weren't killed, and instead Dr. Jaeger arrived like he should have done, and two, the Titans didn't break through the walls, and this would result in no deaths of anyone or anything for that matter. It would mean peace and no future of fighting, or being in the survey corps, or being in the Levi squad. To add, Eren still gave Mixer his scar. Mixer included this in her timeline because this moment meant everything to her. For Mixer, that scarf meant peace, and that for someone is finally there for her. It is a symbol that Eren is there for her. Eren said she had to return the scarf, which differs from the original timeline where Mixer keeps it. Yet Mixer could never have returned his scarf to him because of the ending which we will discuss in a moment. This doesn't change the fact that Mixer was still scarred by the experience by being hypnotised by the killer, who in my opinion is a reflection of her older self in the time when we watch an attack on Titan. This is how she unlocks her Ackerman powers. Not only is she scarred by the scenes of bodies in the woods by being mauled by wolves, but being turned into a killer herself. You could almost say she hypnotised herself. She made herself into a killer. Mixa's normal timeline self had hypnotized her new timeline self, and that was something I never expected. She even quotes things she says in season 1. And near the very end of the episode, instead of Eren being killed by the Titan, he was killed by falling up the hot air balloon to see freedom from over the walls with Armin. This scene is referencing when Eren nearly died, when he was devoured by the Santa Titan. He sacrificed himself for Armin, and he did the same in Mixa's timeline but with a whole different meaning and a whole different setup. Keep in mind that this timeline is all thought of in Mikasa's head. This is how Mikasa learns to reflect and learn that she cannot change her past actions. This is what the butterfly effect is all about. 
Meeks learns that even if things were different, she won't be able to stop Eren's death. She would try to prevent it as much as possible, but this doesn't mean she can stop it forever. As Meeks has stated herself, even if she can't stop it, she will be by his side no matter what happens. This is also shown in the game Life is Strange. For those who don't know the plot for Life is Strange, it's very complex, but I'll explain it as simply as possible. You have to stop your best friend's death by going back in time. However, your actions nearly almost have consequences, since you're messing with the timelines. This results with a massive storm, and you have to choose between your best friend or their death. This isn't the first video game, or series for that matter, to use this. Erase is also another example of Chaos Theory. This isn't a very original plotline, but it still seems interesting for me. And finally, we will discuss the trolley problem. So, what exactly is the trolley problem? The trolley problem is a thought experiment in ethics. The general form of the problem is this. You see a runaway trolley moving towards five tied up people, or otherwise incapacitated people, laying on tracks. If you pull the lever, you will stop these people's deaths. Yet, on the other side, there is one person that will still die. So, what would you do? Maybe your choice will change if I told you that that one person meant something to you if they were your mother, father, or even daughter or son. So yeah, that's what the trolley problem is. And this fits in with Attack on Titan because, as I said earlier, your actions have consequences. Your actions have consequences. Your actions have consequences. What will you learn? What will you learn? That your actions have consequences! So, yeah. That sums up my theory about Chaos Theory. No pun intended. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video, and if you want to see more geeky theories, please subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much for watching, and um, bye guys!